two classes to covet and things not to covet. Number 1. Covet the best gifts. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 31. Verse 31 and we'll be done. He says, but seek the best gifts. Now, what does it mean? What are the best gifts? Just because of this order doesn't mean it's the best. He says, seek among these giftedness the best of it. That's what he's talking about. And as we function in the role, being equipped by him in the best way, it's going to take us to a new spiritual level. That's why he says, look at all of verse 31, but seek the best gifts. And yet, he says, a more excellent way you I will show. I want to talk just a moment about that verse before we wrap up. He says, seek the best gifts. Here again, it can mean the best of these gifts. If you're going to be a prophet, be the best prophet. If you're a teacher, be the best teacher. If you're an apostle, be the best apostle. If you have gifts of, of healings, of miracles, be the very best of it. That's what he's talking about. And when you are, he says, then a excellent way, he says, you, those who do that, I will show. So he's speaking here about how, when we function in obedience, determination, dedication, submissiveness, to the call and the gifts. And notice there's a relationship between the call that we have and the gift that we are given. And when we function in those two things, the role and the giftedness for that role, in the best way, what's going to happen? He is going to, to show us a more excellent way. Well, we'll close with that. Number two, to prophesy. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 39. Finally, he says, look at verse 39. So that brethren, here's the conclusion, based upon everything that he says, be zealous for prophesy, prophecy to, or to prophesy and to speak in tongues. Do not forbid it. But he says, all things proper all things some of the bibles will say decent that means in accordance with the will of god all things properly and according to the order let it be now this is coming to us as well in the form of a commandment we have to affirm what is decent in god's eyes what is order proper order in the will of god and that's why he says all things they need to be done properly and according to the order. And the order is that Paul is set forth by revelation from God. Well, again, we have concluded this 14th chapter and we'll come back next week when we come to one of the greatest chapters in the Bible. One that speaks about resurrection, Messiah's resurrection. And then in light of his resurrection, Remember, resurrection should cause us to think about the kingdom and how we are going to rise up one day, how we're going to receive a new body, a kingdom body, and the wonderful hope that this revelation has for us. 1 Corinthians 15, a great chapter in the scripture. Until that time, may God richly bless you. Things not to covet. Exodus chapter 20, verse 17. Well, let's move to that last verse, verse 17. It says, and the word here is the word, lo, that's do not tachmod, you shall not covet. Now, covet is a strong desire. Biblically, the word covet can be used in a positive sense and a negative sense. It simply means to have strong desire for something. If it's a good thing and it's appropriate for you, you can, can desire uh, uh, that which is right. But we use the word in English, covet, usually to express an improper desire for something that is not permissible to you.
So notice what God says. You shall not covet the house of your neighbor. You shall not covet the wife of your neighbor, nor his servant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, or anything which is to your neighbor. Meaning this, I should not desire that. Now, how to understand that? In a sense that I want it and not him. That's the implication. Now, if he has something and you say, oh, that's a great idea, I like to have that, and you go out and you work for it and you get it, that's not coveting. Coveting is when you want to remove from that person what they have and you want to take it from them for yourself. You say, well, why would it just be a, 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 a commandment of stealing? Do not steal. Here's the desire. This has a, an implication to it that you want to also injure them. You want that because you don't want what they have. There's two, according to the sages, there's two aspects of coveting. One is you want it, but also equally is that you don't want them to have it. You want to derive pleasure from it, but also you're deriving pleasure, but seeing them not enjoy it. So it is the exact opposite, and many scholars say it is put lastly here for a reason. Because it's the one that, that is the clearest example of not walking in love. Because you want to inflict suffering and hardship. And, and pain, maybe just emotional pain in another person. Things not to covet. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 21. This teaching is coming soon. Visit applyscripture.com for updates.